One of my favorite decoys to collect is the black duck. It's interesting. Decoys and waterfowl can tell us a lot about history and the history of waterfowling. In southern Ontario and different parts of Canada, this was the only duck that was shot as far as puddle ducks go. Certainly the market hunters loved these and canvasbacks on the big water. They brought the most amount of money, sometimes four and five cents for a great canvasback or a great mallard, and only two or three cents for a teal or a bluebill or one of the other species. The interesting part also is in the early 19, in the late 1800s, early 1900s, right up to the 50s and 60s when I started hunting, there was almost no mallards in our area of southern Ontario, but there certainly was in other areas like the prairies and getting out into the west coast. So if you found an early mallard decoy, it could be very, very valuable if it was made in southern Ontario. These birds were made by Bill Chrysler. Certainly there's a difference. Much rounder head, much squarer head, and I was very excited one day when somebody called me and said, I've got a fantastic bunch of decoys, and that's as close as they could come to the Bill Chrysler decoy that I was hoping to find. Just the head, and it was nailed on an old, very rustic body. Hmm, this has gone from a $2,000 decoy in my dreams to a very interesting $10 or $20 head. Hi, I'm Steve Lloyd. I've been operating the National Decoy Information Center for over 35 years. I've researched and studied antique waterfowling decoys for most of my adult life. I love decoys. Decoys are my passion. I hope you enjoy this display and the information that I'd like to share with you about antique duck decoys. This display is for your enjoyment and to help you understand the history of waterfowling in Ontario and in North America just a little bit more. If you have old decoys or if you know anybody that has any old wooden decoys, you can email me a picture of them and I'll help you for free to identify them, who made them, the history on them, and the value of them at decoyinfo.com. That's decoyinfo.com.